I think I'm frozen. Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. I was just messing with you guys. I'll edit that out, Kappa. So today, I want to go ahead and show you guys a new flask that I've been looking at and playing around with because we basically sat for a good, I don't know, 35 minutes debating and trying to understand what this flask does. So, uh, the Fruit Punch, Apple Juice, and fucking Red Blood Flask, also known as the Wise Oak. This is what we're going to talk about today. So this flask is going to be one of my new favorite flasks. And I'm going to explain to you guys what it does in a real simple manner. But before we do that, let's break apart what the flask does. During flask effect, 10% reduced damage taken of each element for which your uncapped elemental resistance is lowest. During flask effect, damage penetrates 20% resistance of each element for which your uncapped elemental resistance is highest. Now, if you're thinking just like me, what the fuck does that mean? I'm going to explain it really simply. So essentially what this flash states is you take 10% reduced elemental damage of that element and or all elements, which would be fire, ice, and lightning, if they are your lowest. So if you have 75 fire, 75 ice, and 75 cold, not these actual resists, but in the bracket, right? If all of them in the bracket were the same, exclude chaos you would actually mitigate every single element and you would get 20% penetration from each element. However, if you have one element that is the highest and one element that is the lowest, you will gain penetration in the high element and you will gain mitigation in the low element. Another thing about this flask is it scales off of flask effect and I'm gonna show you guys right now how. So if you look at my uh, fire trap, my fire trap currently has 46% penetration. Well, me growing up, 50% is basically an F up to 59, so my penetration is failing. That's why I'm pretty much a virgin. But if I were to hit this flask, I would immediately go to a C minus, which is a 72%. 72% is acceptable in my book. Now, if you do the math, 46 plus 20 does not actually equal that exact numeric, which is why I stated before, it scales off a of flask effect, which is pretty much alchemist now this also scales the effectiveness of the defensive you know bonus of it as well i can't confirm that but it would make sense that it would these flasks are going for a total of two chaos currently on poe.trade now can you please explain to me why there is a flask that gives almost as much penetration as a level 17 well it's basically like a level 12 gem and it's worth one chaos i'll tell you why because the fucking warning doesn't make any sense and because I just consumed all of the apple candy out of it. Let's drink the blueberry. Mmm. Actually, it took the uh, the red one as well. Anyway, this is going to be like my new unique highlight. I think that this is an insane flask. Um, the one thing I like about it is it actually kind of pushes people away from Inquisitor. And I know that might sound really retarded. But honestly, getting 26% free penetration on a flask is absolutely ridiculous. You can get over 100% pen, I'm pretty sure now. So, like, currently on my fire trap, again, we're at a C-, minus, right? At 72 fire. If I had Zoff's amulet, it would be 82. Uh, if I had a higher fire pen, it'd be, like, almost 90. I'm pretty sure you could get to 100. Um, and then with Pathfinder, you'd get more. And if I went some, you know, like, uh, Saboteur or Chieftain, you would have additional resistance. But now, just to show you guys that I'm not lying to you, I'm going to go ahead and pull off my gloves. If I pull off my gloves, you'll notice I have 153 cold resist, which then means that this is the highest resistance. So by that saying, I will actually go to 36% cold penetration when I hit this flask. And that's because it goes off of your highest resistance. Another crazy thing is if you were to use a lightning coil, right? Lightning coil would get a, a pretty okay buff if you used a legacy one because you would mitigate 13% lightning damage when 40% of it is going to lightning. That's pretty interesting to think of, although you have to be careful because you can't really use Purity of Lightning um, because, I mean, you want to make sure your resistance is perfect. I mean, you could actually, it would be just fine. You just have to make sure you don't go over the resistance. Um, this flask as well is also not too bad because I know people don't really like bismuth flasks, but I personally ran a bismuth flask to cover my uh, resistances for alley weakness maps, and it's very easy to keep up. You know, it'll have basically a six second duration, and then you modify it with flask effect, it goes up to like eight second duration, and consumes 20 of 50 charges. So with again, with flask, flask nodes, you can have, essentially, if you rolled it on your belt, you could have like, you could have three sips on it. So, 
Anyway, if you guys are interested in it, uh, yeah, we can call it the Fruit Gusher. I think the Fruit Gusher is the best one. Um, go ahead and pick up this flask. You can find that at a store near you, aka poe.trade. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash gushers. I mean pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I hope to see you guys all in the Legacy League. Take care, boys.